Hello, YouTube. Alright, I don't usually record traditional stuff, and I don't tend to use traditional mediums for my professional work, but as most of you probably already know, this is Inktober, and I wanted to do something to celebrate the challenge, even though I'm not going to have a chance to do an ink piece every single day. So I broke out my traditional supplies, and this was the result. So I'm using, um, I think, three separate different pens for this. I'm starting off here with my Copic Multiliner brush in brush medium. I prefer the small for this brand, but mine is almost completely out of ink, so I've only used it in this piece for a couple of little places where I wanted the dyeing ink effect to create kind of swooshy bits. I'm also using my Staedtler Pigment Liner in 0.1. You can see that a little bit further on. And also my favorite Castell pen. It's uh, the Giant Brush pen from their pit line. And I'm just using that to fill in the very large black sections. And then the paper is just a very plain cream colored cardstock. That's not just my lighting being pretty terrible. It's actually a cream colored paper, not a straight white. So basically what I like to do when I'm inking traditionally is I'll go in with my brush pen and I'll fill out all the major lines and then afterwards when I'm pretty happy with those I'll go in again with my multi-liner pens which are a lot more detailed and controlled and I'll use those to fill in pieces I wasn't confident inking with the brush pen or I'll use them to fix mistakes I've made when I was using the brush pen. I'm still kind of new to using brush pens. I started uh, inking traditionally using just multi-liners in more of a fine-lined sort of uh, manga-ish style, but a few years ago I was speaking to... I think I was speaking to a traditional Western comic artist who used a lot of brush pens. I'm afraid I can't remember his name. He was at a local comic book shop event and he was using a brush pen and I thought it looked really cool. So I went out and invested in a few and gave them a shot and I definitely recommend giving them a try if you like to do traditional stuff and you've never given them a try. They're, um, they're difficult to get used to, but they create really lovely line width and variation and sort of dynamic line art, line art very quickly. And that can be something that's a little bit more difficult to achieve when you're just using something like a multi-liner. Um, yeah, I think that's about all I have to say about this piece. Uh, the character isn't anyone in particular, she's just a cute witchy type character that I decided to make up for this piece. I really like doing kind of cute witchy stuff, and I kind of wish I could have done the entire 31 Witches Inktober challenge, but I uh, didn't really have the time this year, so maybe next year. I definitely still consider myself more of a digital artist than a traditional one, but if you'd like to see me posting more traditional work like this, please just leave me a note in the comments down below. I've now figured out a system for recording it, which is nice, so it is something I could do again in the future but I'm still going to be working primarily digitally, as even just doing this piece, I really started to miss my undo button. But despite it being a bit of a challenge for me, I really am glad I got around to doing something traditional for October, because I find that any time I experiment with new art tools or art supplies, my more regular digital work tends to improve as well. So yeah, thank you so much for listening and watching. If you have any requests or comments, please definitely leave them down below. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, most of which will be digital artwork, uh, please do hit the subscribe button either down below or at the end of this video. If you've subscribed recently, thank you so much. I know a lot of people have just found the channel and I'm really appreciative that you've taken the time to hit that button and check out all my future videos, which I hope will just keep getting better. So again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll leave you here.